In this video, I'll be showing you how to set your Scala as the audio device in Cubase. This lets you use Scala to record and listen in Cubase. Make sure your Scala is connected to your Mac. Start by opening Cubase. When opening Cubase for the first time, you'll be prompted to open a project. I'll start by creating an empty project and then selecting Open. Now select Audio System, change the ASIO driver to your Scarlet, and then select Switch. Now close the device setup by clicking OK. What is buffer size and what is latency? Buffer size affects the amount of time your computer has to process sound, and latency is the delay between what is played and what is heard back. The buffer size can be changed by heading over to Studio and then Studio Setup. Now head over to your Scarlet and then Control Panel. The buffer size can be changed here. Changing the buffer size can help you solve problems you come up against whilst recording. If you find that you're getting a slight delay whilst recording, referred to as latency, we suggest you reduce your buffer size. Decreasing your buffer size down to numbers like 32, 64 and 128 help reduce latency significantly. Experiment with these numbers to help understand what works best with your machine. If you find that during playback your session glitches, simply increase the buffer size. Increasing your buffer size up to figures like 256, 512, 1024 and 2048 helps improve playback performance, especially when you have a high track count. I'm going to set mine to 64 and work from there. Here are some simple rules to follow. When recording, we recommend using the lower numbers. And when playing back, we recommend using the higher numbers. 64 and 128 are good starting points to avoid changing buffer size during your recording experience.